Today, my guest is Steve Adams from Team Cedar Grilling. Hi, Murray. Hi, Steve. Three peak, three time Canadian champion at the Canadian Barbecue Championships in Barrie. Congratulations. Thank you. And today, we're going to do something we've never done before. Yes. Okay. This beef rub is basically going to be, um, it's a very generic uh, steak spice. You've got uh, okay. paprika, chili powder, Moments. granulated garlic. Yep. All Except for the oil. In. Okay. Now you can see why these guys are three-time champions, can't you, kids? Um, these beef ribs, we're actually cooking competition style. Okay. okay? Which means that um, we're going to smoke them, torture them, well, render that fat out for probably, uh, oh, three to four hours. Okay? No. That goes uh -huh. right here. Just I mix that up it. with your hand. Okay. And then we're going to wrap it. Okay. And then we're going to uh, do a finishing sauce. So there you go. So let's put some oil on the, here to make that stick. Right. Perfect. I've pre-trimmed these. The whole secret to a beef rib yeah. is you want to get rid of all of that uh, fat and tendon. I don't pull a membrane off. I actually cut it off. Right. And you can see how nice that is that right is now. Nice. Very nice. Thing. Okay, let's uh, hit that with some, some rub. Hey, it's skating on us, isn't it? You got it. Get a little bit on this side. Don't want too much because it's a pretty salty. Okay. And this is just going to go for way? hours. Now, this took no time to prep any of this. No. And that just basically goes for three hours. You can't get any easy, easy, easier wow. than this, can you? Okay. Where would you like that? Indirect. Steve? Indirect? So, so this is indirect right here. So we'll throw that in. No heat, no heat, and the heat's on this side. All right. And this is getting nice and hot, giving us some aroma here. Oh, you can smell that, Steve. It smells very nice. Okay, it's been six hours and 225 pounds, and Tiny's with us now. How are you, Murray? Good, Tiny. So now the beef ribs, we basically want to, they're, they're at a stage now that they need to be foiled. They've been in here how long, Tiny? Uh, two to three hours. Okay. With some smoke, we've got that look cherry that wood smoke. smoking just lovely over there. Look at our ham, kid. Doesn't that look nice? That's, That's been two to three great. hours. Okay, like this. Yeah. And look at how it's go. coming off the bone beautifully. Let me, just, over pull there. This, yeah, let me just pull this over here a little bit. Okay. My goodness. Ooh, there we go. Now we're going to go, let's go meat side down. Okay. Okay. We want to introduce some, some moisture into these ribs again now that they've right. been sitting on there for a little while. So we're going to set these in here. Yeah. We're going to add a little bit of beef broth. And that's all it is, is beef right, broth. Right on top. Right. Look at how these bones have come, or the meats come right off these bones, yeah. eh? Yeah. Isn't that it's nice. And, and this was cooked at about 100 and 160 degrees, yeah. 180. Wow. It's now pretty you're forgiving. A pocket. Yeah, we're gonna roll this up. Tiny, this is Being fun. Being careful not to get the bones poking out of the. Exactly. Good point. Tin foil's expensive, right? You gotta. Yeah. <laughs> you make so those will sit in there. Yeah. We'll put them back on. Bone meat side down meat again, side right? Down. Tiny. Yeah. So it's actually sitting in the in the juices. Right. And it's indirect heat. Yeah. Now what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna make a sweet finishing sauce for the beef ribs. Oh, nice. Okay, and we'll start it with a half a cup of 40 Creek whiskey, as oh. usual, right? <laughs> some cider vinegar. All right. Whoa, we had a nice hot pot. Some, some, uh, some onion. Yeah. Half a cup of uh, dark brown sugar. It's got more molasses in it. Yeah. Some ketchup, a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce. Some hot sauce. This is the base for a good sauce, uh -huh. and then you can customize it yourself. To your right? own add, flavor. Yeah, add yeah. in hot peppers, whatever you like. Yeah, we'll just get nice. that going on the on the grill. Okay. There we go. There we go. And I'll take the sauce too, please. All right. Oh, it's getting nice. Well, oh, look at that. I can barely get them out, Marie. How'd we do? How'd we do? They're looking good. Looking great. Now, don't touch that, Stephen. Okay. Okay. So let's um, let's hit some sauce on this. It's All right. too hot there, so we'll just do it right here. All right. I'll just turn that. Get that going. There you go. That smells good. Yeah. That's a lovely glaze. And how's the uh, the other one doing? Did you give that Fine. a stir? Fine. I did. I did. Boy, poor Tiny. He has to put up with you with all that. Did you stir that, Murr? <laughs> there we go. Look at this. Stirring. Stirring now. Incoming? In. Incoming. I'll yep. get out of your way. Watch this. Walking out of the way. There you go. 
Okay. Perfect. Cool. There we go. That looks nice. And I'll just get in here and we'll just get this. Doesn't that look nice? It's a lot of basting, and that's great. That's what puts the moisture and the flavor yeah. back in, eh, Steve? See and again, you can you, again you can customize that, Murray. Sure. Put your own accent into it. But if, I like know, really spicy. I got a little advice, Steve. I wouldn't change much of what you're doing. Being the three-time champ, I think they're doing it right, don't you, kid? I'd say they're doing okay. Thanks, Murray. Incoming. There you go, Perfect. pal. Great. Perfect. Great. Any special way down the bones uh, you cut? No. That? Oh, nice. I'll try a little beef rib. Try a little bit of the ham, Ray. I've got a nice, dainty little uh, knife here for the beef rib. Wow. This is a smorgasbord, kids. It was great, guys. A little tradition here, boys. And what you know, being three time champs, you can pass these down. Guys, let's eat, drink, and be merry. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Thank you, buddy.